welcome back to aria moore's makeup room where we learn and grow together guys i am back with another video one i do want to say this so it's we had like a little snowstorm here in kentucky let me fix my camera so we had like a little snowstorm or whatever and like it's just been so windy outside it's going crazy it's like wilding outside like i was like sitting here trying to figure out if i should record or not because the wind is so loud it's like smacking my window but the show shall go on so guys if y'all hear a lot of noise in the background i'm sorry because that's what's going on guys get into the makeup i should have done a tutorial on this makeup look i did not but i am here with a fragrance guys today i'm going to be showing you how i apply all of my smells so that it can last all day and catch everyone's attention because i didn't really realize a lot of people don't know how to apply fragrance now i know everyone's you know different floats or what they say different boats different floats for different folks Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Everybody does stuff a little bit different. So I'm going to show you how I do it. And the way that I do it definitely works. Trust me. Trust your girl. But yeah, guys. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. Just in case your girl don't post until after the New Year's. Because, you know, the kids are home from school. So I really don't know what I'm about to be doing. But yeah. Um, make sure if you are new to the channel, please do take some time to subscribe. Make sure you guys go ahead and like this video. And leave some comments down below because y'all I'm saying. <laughs> The channel don't grow without it, guys. <laughs> you gotta leave a, a comment or a like. Do something. Do something. No, but anyway, guys, let's get it. Let's go. Today, we are going to be featuring one of my most recent newest fragrance, guys. This fragrance is to die for. This is the YSL Libre El de la Parfum. I don't know how to, how they're supposed to pronounce that, but guys, this is that, and this is that girl. Like, if you don't, if you don't know nothing about it, get into it. Go to your nearest Ulta, go to Sephora, go to Macy's, and check this out. I actually got mine from Macy, guys. I will definitely be shopping there a lot <laughs> because I found a lot of fragrances there that I was like, your girl's coming back for more, but. I'm going to be using this one today just to kind of show you guys how to apply it. But before I show you guys how to apply it, I want to tell you one of the things that I love about this fragrance in particular. So when I went to Macy's, I went with my spouse and we, we have this thing where we just kind of go out and we smell fragrances together. He smells some men colognes and stuff. I smell mine and then we... We pretty much take pictures and stuff and we give them to each other. So this is what he actually got me for Christmas. So thanks, babe. Mwah, 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 mwah. He picked this one out. This was not going to be any of my go-to. Like the direction is just completely different from my norm. You guys know I love like smells that are not too strong. I love fresh smells. I love like my little girly scents, but I don't do like real fruity. This one surprisingly has a kick to it it has a really nice spice to it but it's so very it's like light and earthy and it has that very fresh clean smell to it this is just so perfect for every single day guys and i'm scared to spray too much of it because i want this to last forever <laughs> like y'all okay. want it to last forever but this the smell of this fragrance is so alive like there's no way no one will like be drawn to you when you wear this this is amazing 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 and ysl i just want to thank you so much for this because i didn't think this was a spray that i needed and i'm so happy that i have it like i've been thinking about it since i purchased it and it's in my house like that's how good it smells and you want to find a fragrance that this is the trick. One thing about fragrance that is amazing is it just leaves a memory behind of a person, of a place, of a thing. I remember back in the day, there was this guy that had this one spray on. And even though I wasn't attracted to him, that smell that he had always reminded me of a... It just reminded me of him and the scenery every single time. And he had a really nice personality. He was super, super sweet. But... I remember one time I was somewhere else and I smelt it and it literally made me think of him and I was like, hmm, is he here? That's weird. But he wasn't. It was actually somebody else. But I recognized that smell. It was so attractive and it just smelled so good. This is one of those sprays like, ladies, gentlemen, I don't care. Get, get what you like. If you use this, 
and you spray it on you and you spray it on you in the right places it's going to leave a memory behind and everyone's going to remember you for being that that girl you know what i'm saying <laughs> you want to be that girl guys the makeup the makeup fire okay make sure you guys go and check me out on instagram at glam with ari that's all of my makeup content there i have reels and little quick tutorials and stuff on that page as well as like my colognes and perfume stuff i just actually incorporated into there as well skincare and hair care guys and i'm going to be putting all that on this channel too i'm just saying like that place has it all as well but they're just quicker you know what i'm saying like where these videos are longer instagram is quicker so go and follow glam with ari and check the description box as well as the comments i'm gonna start pinning my comments with all of my links too to make it easier because your girl slacking a little bit that's neither here nor there i know you guys want to see how do i apply this i just want to let you guys know how good it is because it's so good look how cute yes <laughs> okay guys let me show you how to spray it and then we're gonna go on about our day let's go you gotta take the top off okay and if you don't smell your fragrance before you apply it baby put it back down and try it again because you're supposed to take the top off and take a sniff that's the rules that's rule number one but one of the things or the key things to spraying your fragrance is the area of placement if you are one of those who take your sprays especially when you're buying like high-end sprays you really don't want to be messy with your spray because they they're specialized to do what it needs to do you don't gotta be like a if you are one of those and you're spraying all over the place like this all down your leg all down your back you're doing it wrong unfortunately you need to stop don't do that now a little bit goes a very long way when i was in middle school i had a teacher she um she was a black lady and she used to teach us young girls how to spray perfumes at that time it wasn't really applied into my life because my mom was not really buying us like sprays and stuff so it didn't really matter what i learned however as i got older and started really getting into sprays and smells and stuff i remember what she taught me and i thank her so much for that because it makes a big big difference she told us one day she said ladies you need to smell well but you don't need to kill the environment and i didn't get it like smell well but don't kill the environment like she used to try to teach us how to like cross our legs and how to sit and you know that that whatever that's just a long story that i can go into detail about but i absolutely appreciate that lesson that she gave us because it's something that stuck with me forever so thank you if you ever come across this video girl thank you hey 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 she probably don't even recognize me because i'm good now and i was a little badass <laughs> getting my ass beat <laughs> but this is what i like to do now we're gonna simplify it for beginners because i'm not a beginner anymore so i kind of know how to do it without doing this the direction that i'm going to show you guys but take one of your fingers take your spray and just do a little dab just like that right take it and touch behind your ear on both sides just like that right and then go a little bit on your neck go a little bit here on your neck as well which is around my hairline so you know that's a good good direction and you just want to pat it in just like that what does this do it does everything that you need it to do one it keeps the smell in a very very safe place i don't sweat a lot back here um i don't really mess with this area too much there's not a lot of rubbing in that area so you you know it's going to stay there all day but why that spot when you go in to hug someone or they go in to hug you their nose is going to be here their nose is going to be here their faces and their nose is going to be here it's going to be here so you're leaving that nice scent behind and it's not overbearing because you did just a little drop and you kind of spread it between both sides so this is going to make that person want to hug you more and they're going to be like they want to soak in that smell because it's beautiful and you smell amazing and you place the right amount that dap on your finger is going to go a long way it's going to have longevity for your sprays it's going to do everything that you need for the entire day and it's there so another thing that you guys can do is so that was just one spray you literally 
can get by with two to three sprays. It just depends on the person and the size. If you have a little more umph, a little more body yaddy yaddy yaddy, you can do a little bit more, but I still recommend doing the finger method. So another thing you can do is take a little spray and then whatever's in the air, I whisk it onto me. And you go into the back of your neck here and you just dab those little lines there. So the back of the neck, the back of the neck, not the neck, the neck. Do y'all hear that? I swear I feel like it's gonna bust my window. Don't play with me, sweetheart. <laughs> but the back of the neck, what it does is it leaves that trail as you're walking by. So if you're just walking by people, that trail that's in that back of the neck, it just kind of flows off and leaves that walking scent that every girl loves to leave behind. If you're like me, you love that. And it just makes everything super, super fresh. So my, in my opinion, that's all you need. <laughs> that's all you need, like literally. But if you feel like you need a little bit more, you want some on your clothing as well, what you could do is take your spray and spray the back of your shoulders on both sides. Once you spray it on both sides, I like to take my hand and rub like this around to the front of my shoulder blade. So just like that. I'm not going to spray it because obviously there's no reason for me to have it on my robe. But yeah, so you take it and you just go like that. So... That's just a little extra precaution if you want to be extra, extra. You really don't need to do that. And guys, you still have that scent on your finger. Rub around your chest. Rub around here. Rub it together. Believe it or not, baby, it's there. It's there. A lot of people don't really know how to apply fragrances. And that's why they stir away from buying some really good ones. The ones that's a little more expensive. Because if you feel like... Oh my God, it's, it's $102 or whatever. That's going to be gone within a couple of weeks. It should not be gone within a couple of weeks because you're using it wrong. If your sprays, I don't care what it is, Bath and Body Works, Walgreens, it doesn't matter. If your sprays are lasting you a week or two, you're using it wrong. All of your sprays should last you throughout the year, if not more. It depends on you, your size, and how you are applying it. So take your time and apply it the right way so that you can actually make it last a little bit longer, guys. And that's actually going to get me over into my next video because if you have any sprays that are on the cheaper end and they don't last all day, you want to go ahead and watch my next upload. So make sure that bell is clicked and make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss it because I'm going to be showing you how to actually make it last all day just in case it don't because you might want to know you might need that information guys but anyway thank you so much for watching this video guys make sure you go and check out some other content here on this channel guys makeup tutorials all kinds of stuff that's on this channel guys thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys in the next video video all right guys bye